we have is three suspects wearing scarves over their faces. episode of Vibe Nation. Vibe Nation brings to you the stories of Africans and their diversity in their culture, their tribes, their ethnicity, and where they come from. Africa is huge. Africa has got 54 countries and over 10,000 languages. Let's have a look at the cultural activities happening here in Perth, Western Australia. This is the first time in a year where we sit down and let our hair down. And also, uh, you know, you know how it is, but it's north and south. Everybody come together and let their hair down and relax. So, so this is a one of the night. In, we'll call it uh, like uh, Academy of Adult Kenyans in the, in, in the community. How important is an event like this from tonight? Well, it's very important because it brings together uh, most of the Kenyans who live in uh, Western Australia. Uh, secondly, uh, it uh, helps uh, link the wider Australian community with uh, the Kenyans who live here. And uh, thirdly, uh, it helps bring uh, Kenyan officials, including the High Commissioner and, and the staff, to uh, interact with uh, uh, the Kenyans who live here. the opportunities that uh, there are for both Australia in Africa and Africa in Australia. I think it's been a time to remind ourselves of the place of Africa in the world. Africa is the continent of the future. He who is not thinking about Africa is not thinking about the future. Five Nation Stop the Violence is a television program that follows the journey of Africans coming to a new land, Australia. Africa is a continent of rich traditions, tribes, and languages. As a colonized continent, Africa independence of each country is still very fresh. So communities are also adjusting to regaining their culture while addressing relocation issues. Africans come to Australia in all forms. Some came as refugees, migrants, some came on a working visa, and some came on a marriage visa. Not every African who came to Australia has relocated because of adversity. However, those that do come under adversity have much to process as they readjust in a new land. So in Africa, it's just about food, uh, networking, and having fun. That's it. Yeah, and dancing, lots of dancing.
friendly country or sometimes we even um, they even call it little Geneva because Tanzania is a peaceful country with a host to many refugees from Rwanda, from Burundi, from Congo. It was in the front line during the struggle for independence of Zimbabwe, of Angola, of Namibia, and it was in the front, uh, one of the frontline states against apartheid. So Tanzania is friendly. Tanzania is a country that uh, works hard to ensure that the rest of Africa is free from colonial bondage. So I would say Tanzania is a peace-loving country and it cherishes people's freedom and Tanzania is not free if the rest of Africa is still under uh, colonial bondage. So economic dependence that we have is something that Tanzanians are fighting against or are working towards eradicating. So, and we go by the slogan of Hapakazi to which is our current president, known best for uh, President Magufuli, talks about Hapa Kazi to Tanzanians are hardworking people. Tanzania is a rich country in human resources and natural resources. I can summarize Tanzania is a very, very, uh, all the soul of Africa I can say, because that is our motto. Me as the Tanzania's tourism ambassador, we know that uh, our slogan now is Tanzania, the soul of Africa. Tribal groups, religions, languages, dance, and a rich line of traditions that entails detailed family structure and comprehensive social network. Upon relocation, it is usual to face issues of isolation and loss of identity as the way of life and its differences of the new land become more obvious. This can be labeled as culture shock, as food, customs, social groups, language barrier, and the day-to-day -day routine all need to be processed. For the traditional elders who have children growing up in the Western way, there can be conflict arising as each sees the world through different eyes. The youth may find these can lead to conflict within families and the divide can grow as the youth find ways to belong within the new social group, often made up of multiple nationalities. Language barriers and education can also isolate parents from their children. Communities are aware of growing concerns between families, so there is now a push to reconnect with culture, to encourage youth to know their cultural background. If there is cultural belonging, then relocation becomes less stressful. Africans brings into Australian community an extraordinary number of cultural contributions and as community groups hold more social events, families are encouraged to stay connected with food, music and cultural experiences across all ages. This program does not say that Africans are violent people. Vibe Nation aims to say, yes, there are relocation issues and how the voice of each community is saying we value our members and believe cultural reconnection is the essence of healthy mentalities. Africans are vibrant and the youth want to know their culture. The elders have a lot to offer. Yep, and the commentator, as you guys can hear right now, the commentator is thanking all the ladies and the mothers who brought their, um, their kids to come and watch the wrestle because he's basically telling them, I appreciate you guys for bringing the kids here because if they didn't bring the kids here, the, the kids would probably be at home, probably bored. Some of them, like, forget about the culture, but it's just the fact that the mothers and the parents brought the kids here. That's why the commentator is thanking all the parents and stuff for bringing the kids out here. For example, myself, I wouldn't be here if I was, wasn't told to come here. I'd probably be out. God knows, whatever, and other stuff, you know? But yeah, so thankfully there's an event going on today. It's a Saturday, but I'm here. 
embracing my culture and doing this and letting people know what we really are about and what my culture is about. So basically, this is to bring all the people together. As you guys can see, there's people from different states. There's people from Melbourne, Adelaide, the, all the other states and stuff. And they're all here today just for this occasion. Our culture is awesome. I think at the moment, as you may know, it's uh, youth issues. But youth issues are on the multicultural communities and African communities are not just on the multicultural issues. It's across Australia. It's across the white youth, it's Aboriginal youth. So we have to use all the available resources to find ways of resolving them. Now some of the issues surrounding youth are identity, identity crisis. Uh, some of them, they were born in war-torn backgrounds, uh, refugee camps, they come here, they are involved with new culture, and sometimes young people, they are caught in between their parents' uh, culture and the Australian culture. Their parents, sometimes they want this, the youth to focus on the old culture, and the youth are saying, no, we have moved on, we are progressive. And there's a conflict. Sometimes the youth run away from home because they want to be free. And in that freedom, sometimes wrong things happen out there. We are going for a short break. And I want every one of you to sit back and relax. We're going to be back soon. <laughs> 